Well, here we are on a Saturday evening uh, with the Fox Hat Metric IPA. This is from my shelf of fame. It's a great drop. It's a great drop, especially when you pour it into a mudgy brewing glass. And um, it's a hot night. And it's going to be quite a, a sticky, humid kind of evening, I think. Um, this morning started off with me completing a jug jigsaw puzzle that I started yesterday. This is the, uh, this is the, uh, the picture. Um, it's a 300 piece jigsaw. I started it yesterday and it was made um, from a photograph that I took a couple of years ago out at, um, I forget the name of the place. It's down south slightly. It was a, an abandoned, uh, I think it's a BMW. Uh, the police have obviously conducted some form of investigation in relation to it. It's been burnt out and abandoned. When I took the picture and I was going through my pictures, I was thinking, well, what would make a good photograph? Um, and I always like one where there's lots of patterns and lots of challenging areas um, in a... In a, in a um, in a uh, picture and when the wife saw it she thought it might take me four days to complete it but it took me a couple of hours and the interesting thing is I think when I get to those leafy areas or those pictures of leaf litter and similar I kind of go into my scanning mode um, what the kind of way I look at nature when I'm out looking for things to photograph because I have a particular way of looking at things and it allows me to focus on detail significantly. Um, and that's how I see insects out in the bush that other people would most likely not see. Um, so if, for example, in here, I'm looking at the different patterns, the different shades of green, um, different light. Um, it's 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 trickier than it than it appears, but I seem to um, you know I did it fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a challenge, and I love doing this kind of thing. And then we went out into the bush today, um, and just as we were walking out, I came across these, and these are um, sawfly larvae, also called spitfires, and they they mob together like this because there's, they're all proverbial safety in numbers. Um, quite interesting, but I managed to grab that picture today. Uh, just made and uh, made and enjoyed a uh, veg vegetable quiche uh, for our dinner, which we've just eaten. Uh, it's been quite a hot day. This really is a classic brew. Don't don't go past any I, fox hat. Can't put a foot wrong as far as I'm concerned. This is a West Coast IPA. It's just a beautiful, beautiful taste. Fruity, um, orangey, lemony, grapefruity, marmalady on the front end, and it's just got this nice bitterness as it goes down. It's just a really nice beer on a on a hot uh, day. Um, what else? Managed to photograph a few spiders, a bit of this, a bit of that. Other than that, it's been this is the new one of the new shirts, by the way, from um, Kmart. Uh, I think I got it for eight dollars. You know, why go out and spend a hundred dollars on a designer shirt um, when you can get a shirt for eight dollars? I mean, the quality is essentially the same it's cotton, it's thread, it's fibers woven together sewed together, constructed, and it hides your nakedness when you're out in public. So why would you part for $100 on a shirt when you can spend $8, Target, Kmart, whatever it is. I got uh, five, five shirts the other day. Perfect, you know. Ugh. What do you, what do you do? Huh? state of the world is so fucked um, feeling a bit radicalized these days and I think any 
decent person, anybody with a brain in their head is going to feel similar or the same way. Um, you know, you look at uh, you know, look at the state of politics in this country. We've we've got this on this side and this on this side, and and they're both the same. They are both two sides of the same coin. Or as the uh, the wonderful George Galloway says, they're both two cheeks of the same ass. And if you think by voting you're going to make a change or our society is going to change for the better, you are wrong. It's a system that prohibits smaller parties from making any difference, from getting up and leading us. It's a two-party, two-horse race, and that's how it is, and they are both the same. It's flawed. What we need, what we should have, is a Chinese style administration because it works. It works a whole lot better than the shit that passes for democracy in this country. But what to do about it? That's the thing. That is the big question to be answered. And even over a fox hat metric, I still can't find the answer. This is one of those beers that really is superb. It's consistently superb. It's a really nice, very nice summer, summer beer. Well, that's it. I'll tell you one thing. When we were in Mudgee, as we were about to leave Mudgee, we, the wife stopped, stopped me and said, look, hey, there's a, a market there. Maybe we can pick up something. And in the, actually, we did. We got some port and some honey from this market. And we walked up to one of the little stalls, the same kind of market that you see anywhere. And... This particular one had Kookaburra Estate written across the top of this tent, the stool. And there was a lady out the front there. And they, they it was a, it's a boutique still, distillery. Uh, they make infused gins, vodkas, liqueurs, etc. And the lady on this Kookaburra Estates handed me a, uh, a bit of advertising material. And this is it. And the most amazing thing is, and you would have to see it to believe it, the woman that handed me this, she looked exactly like one of them. I kid ye not. Um, yeah, I, I've never seen a woman look so much like a kookaburra in my life. There you are. I just thought I'd share that with you. So if you're out mudgy way, and uh, you're particularly into your birds or your, your boutique distilling, check out the kookaburra. She's out there somewhere. All right, that's your lot. Have a good night and all the best. Bye.